a bird battle. Give me a bird battle. Fight, fight, fight. Oh shit, where are they gone? Alright, bit of a detour. What I was supposed to do today is go that way and set up some trail cameras to try and catch an eagle owl. But I'm seeing a lot of red kite action just up there. And I'll go see if I can film them. There's been a fair few. So what we're going to do, take a small walk up here and see if we can catch them on camera. They're flying really low, so I don't want to waste this opportunity. Okay, birds of prey are probably the trickiest animal that I find to film and even photograph. Most animals I'm pretty alright with, but these guys are pretty tricky. I've never really got like a fantastic image of a bird of prey, so I'm really, really holding out hope that they turn up because I feel like I've got a good feeling about this. I've got a good feeling that they're going to show up, give me a show, and that I get to film it and have a good day and change my luck with big birds of prey. Hey, that run. All right, well, our first red kite. That's the good news. The bad news is that he's all the way over there. So I'm gonna have to take you guys down there. And uh, yeah, I think, unfortunately, that's a landfill site. So that's not gonna be great at all. All right, here we are. And yes, my suspicions were correct. It's a landfill site. That is rather unfortunate for some of these kites. Let's hang out with them for a little bit. We might get something good. This is definitely not my favorite place to film wildlife, but there's a lot of kites here and they're here for a reason. So it might be interesting for me to stick around and see what they get up to. To my understanding, the red kite is more scavenger than predator, but I'm seeing a lot of dive bombing, so I'm guessing that they're hunting rats or other rodents who are attracted by the landfill. Whoa, I'm there. Well, that's difficult to capture. Whatever they're eating here, they are definitely valuing it. They are aggressively dive bombing each other, which to my guess is a show of dominance of who controls this area. A bird battle. Give me a bird battle. Oh, fight, fight, fight. Oh shit, where are they gone? That's pretty cool. We have action just starts and stops. Oh. Are you gonna come closer now? The red kite is a bird of prey, but they are not considered to be a powerful bird of prey. In contrast to an eagle or an owl who is capable of taking large animals, the red kite is more commonly a scavenger, but can take small rabbits and small rats. So I'm guessing that's why they're here. They are hunting rodents who are taking advantage of the landfill site. I couldn't quite see what they were catching, but they did get close enough for me to film how these incredible birds eat. These birds of prey eat on the wing. It's a good way for them to keep their meals and themselves safe from larger ground predators, but it also puts them in danger of other red kites looking to steal their meal. I think they're a lot better in the air than they are in the ground, so I think it's a worthy sacrifice. 
problem of waste management is incredibly complex, and I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I know the answers to solve the problem. But what I do know is that as much as the responsibility falls on our governments to do a better job in managing our waste, it also falls upon us as individuals to do a better job of creating less of it. So, when you buy something, get every penny out of it. You're not just helping yourself, but you're helping a whole lot of other things survive too, and live in better conditions. Red kites are gorgeous birds of prey, and I definitely would have preferred to have seen them in a more natural location. And I can't help but say that I didn't enjoy my time with them, and it was a big relief seeing them fly towards the green forests which surrounded and were much larger than the landfill site itself. That just about does my time here with the red kites. It was interesting coming from over there, seeing them all flying around, and wondering what all the fuss was about. Not my favourite location, however, to discover red kites being in, but the amount of kites that are here, the amount of predatory raptors that are here, isn't a bad sign. It's a good sign that the nature reserve behind me is really healthy. Although they've come to an unfortunate place, which is not really like I get, like I said again, it's not my favourite place to view red kites. It shows that the place behind me is really healthy. There's lots of animals running around there and enough to keep these guys at least semi-fed. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel, like the video, share the video, do whatever you want with the video, and I'll catch you next time, hopefully in there, filming some wild animals in some more healthy locations. All right, see you next time.